Hello, my name is Ramana Sridhar. I am an architect in Microsoft Services Global Delivery. Today we are going to talk about Course 80638 Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R3 Retail for Brick and Mortar Stores Customization and Extensibility. We will now cover the modules in this course. The modules covered in this course are Module 1 Introduction to Retail Point of Sale Module 2 Retail Point of Sale Extensibility Technical Overview Module 3 Development and Customization of Retail Point of Sale Module 4 Extending Modern POS Please note this particular module is still in beta. Further updates may be published on this module. Module 5 Extensibility Testing Considerations Module 6 Extensibility Deployment and Hotfix Update Considerations Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 R3 includes a modern POS which is a point of sale application for PCs, laptops, tablets and phones. Sales staff at the store can process sales transactions, customer orders or perform daily operations or stock operations with mobile devices using the modern POS application. Note. The retail modern POS is comprised of pre-release components at the time of recording this course. All pre-release features and functionality are preliminary based on current expectations and are subject to change without notice. The modern POS is a thin client application. It must communicate to the retail server to perform the transactions. All the business logic run on the retail server. Benefits of Modern POS The Modern POS enables a rich and immersive experience for retailers anytime, anywhere and on any device. It is based on a flexible architecture that is designed to support multi-platform applications. It supports both Windows and embraces and supports other platforms. Overview of Modern POS Architecture The Modern POS client is a thin client which runs on tablets, phones or laptops. Sales staff can perform store transactions including sales, daily operations or inventory transactions using a tablet or a phone when modern POS app inst is installed on them. The modern POS client must be connected to the Microsoft Dynamics AX retail server to perform transactions. The retail server is a wrapper on the commerce runtime and communicates back to the channel database connected to the commerce runtime. The modern POS client can also communicate to hardware peripherals like printers, barcode scanners or any other hardware device required at the store. For this to happen, the modern POS client must communicate to the retail hardware station. The retail hardware station therefore needs to be installed if modern POS client has to run at the store. One of the advantages of Microsoft Dynamics AX Retail POS is that a number of configurations on the retail POS can be performed at the head office. The retail POS configuration and setup includes setting up the following in Microsoft Dynamics AX Retail Headquarters. POS Profiles 
This include offline profile which determine the offline database which is used by the POS registers, functionality profile which determines the functionality at the POS registers, receipt profile which determines the set of receipt templates which have to be used at the POS register, hardware profile which determines the preferences for hardware and peripheral devices which are connected to the retail POS, visual profile which determines the screen layout and appearance of the retail POS. Custom fields and language text can be used for ISVs and partners to extend the retail POS. The other setup activities for retail POS which can be performed at the head office include setting up the POS registers or terminals, setting up receipt formats, setting up screen layouts, setting up the button grids in the screen layouts, adding images which appear on the retail POS register, setting up the keyboard mapping groups for the retail POS register, setting up operations which can be performed on the retail POS, setting up POS permission groups which determine the access for various transactions by users at the retail POS. Module 1 Introduction to Retail Point of Sale POS Microsoft Dynamics AX for Retail POS is the point of sale program used by the brick and mortar stores. Overview of Retail POS Retail POS is built on Microsoft.NET Framework. All POS tasks are performed by using a POS register. Each POS register is uniquely identified by a register number. The easy to use graphical user interface of the retail POS can be configured in Microsoft Dynamics AX headquarters to meet the needs of many industries such as fashion, grocery or food service. Module 1 Introduction to Retail Point of Sale POS Microsoft Dynamics AX for Retail POS is the point of sale program used by the brick and mortar stores. Overview of Retail POS Retail POS is built on Microsoft.NET Framework. All POS tasks are performed by using a POS register. Each POS register is uniquely identified by a register number. The easy to use graphical user interface of the Retail POS can be configured in Microsoft Dynamics AX headquarters to meet the needs of many industries such as fashion, grocery, or food service. Retail POS Layout The Retail POS Layout has the following sections. Receipts pane Customer pane Totals pane Barcode and quantity number pad Payment buttons, function buttons, and fast search or quantity entry. We'll go through each of them in detail. The customer pane is used to add a new customer, search for an existing customer, or create a customer order. Function buttons are used to add products to the transaction, perform tasks such as applying a discount, suspending a transaction, or opening the cash drawer. Receipt pane is used to display transactions on the order, including item quantity and total. Title image logo section is used to display company information. The barcode and quantity number pad is used to enter numbers such as product numbers or quantities. Total Spain is used to view information about the transaction subtotal, sales tax, shipping charge and total. Payment buttons are used to accept different forms of payment 
such as cash, check or credit card. Fast search and quantity is used to quickly perform a search on customer or item number or to manually enter quantities for items. Retail POS transactions. Here we look at typical transactions which a cashier at a store would perform in a day. Time clock log on, usually done to open the shift. Start of the day, entering the opening balance. General sales with a default customer, that is a customer who is not named. Transactions on hold, creating customer orders, recalling transactions on hold, customer order recall, general sales with discounts, sales on customer account, payment on customer account, safe drop, creating a new customer, sales with credit memo, sales redeeming a credit memo, loyalty redemption payment, sales and exchange transactions, customer quote converted to order, converted to invoice, sales with price override or discounts, processing petty cash expense at the store, processing income receipt at the store, performing general sales with the mix and match, performing customer sales with loyalty redemption, voiding a transaction, voiding a payment, opening a cash drawer for change, creating a blind close, declaring tender, closing a shift, printing a Z report, time clock log off. In addition, some stock transactions can be performed by the cashier including goods receiving, store transfer in or store transfer out, purchase order receipts at the store and stock counting.